Hello folks, I just want to announce today's competition, which is the chance to win £150 worth of White Boys shop vouchers. To enter, all you have to do is you need to like the video, you need to be subscribed to the channel, and you have to leave us a comment on this video with what move you would like to see in an IFSC competition. Go for it. Pete, should we jump into it? Yeah, let's jump in. Dive, dive right in there. Let's do it. I've got clips of the finalists in Salt Lake City. It's just this first initial move on one of the men's problems. They're, go they're doing like an invert, foot first sequence into a foot jam and then rotating around it and then carrying on the climb. The rest of the climb is, you know, like standard power pinching volumes, that kind of stuff. It's interesting to see the different strategies and also like little subtle positions that they're making with their feet, the different ways that they start. So it'll be interesting to, to have a look. Importantly, is this also, is this like nearly my prediction coming true where I said we'd see off with this year in World Cups? Because this is like kind of getting on towards half a wide pony. I would say this is one third of a wide pony. What was quite interesting from the uh, the Salt Lake City uh, finals in general was there was quite a lot of cracks in there. Yeah, yeah. I was going through these clips and there's some in the women's, uh, there was some in the men's semis, uh, I think that was a week later, and then there was also this foot jam that we were going to uh, analyse today. That's like two two comps, three cracks. The ratios are high here. <laughs> the ratios are much higher than they used to be. Here's another quick one. I know we're supposed to be breaking down foot jams, but I, I'm just, I mean, me and you, we're all about predictions. Will we? ever see a crack comp where you just look across the wall, six problems, four problems, whatever comp format it is, and you've just got cracks. I don't, mm, I don't think, mm, I don't think we'll see that in our lifetime. If that did happen, would you try and get back into the GB climbing team? <laughs> no, because I look at these problems anyway, and it's not like I could do them. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> well, like I could do that. <laughs> this is this is how far it's gone now, Pete. We just we just commentate on it. Yeah, maybe we'll get hired by the IFSC when cracks come keep coming further in. Because as as more cracks come in, they'll need some they'll need some uh, like knowledge and. Oh my goodness! It's Yoni Kroder. That's a backhanded book opener. <laughs> we've done ourselves over on this. We've taught Matt Groom everything we know. And then we've taught Magnus everything there is to know about how to climb cracks. So he's like the big dog on it now. There's no place for me and you. No. <laughs> no, it's over. Clip one, here we go. Men's final. Three, two, one, go. When I watched this the first time, I was thinking, I wonder how bad those hands holds are to even get into that invert position. Because I bet it's not simple. No, I bet it's not, no. It looks like silence. I feel like when he did the move the second time he just went in a bit more kind of meaningfully with like slotting the heel in um whereas the first time he just kind of like plonked it in there like you know obviously it was his first go and he's probably not done much of that move before that's the only real difference i can see with that is just slotting the heel in better yeah so this guy is trying to go uh basically like power yeah yeah i mean you can see he's just got like his eyes in the prize and he's looking at that handhold in the volume or that hold in the volume, all he's thinking is hands. He's not He's not thinking feet. This is where the crack climbing thing is coming to its own, is people are seeing holds for feet and hands now. When I watch some of the climb, like this guy, he's obviously, he's going up like hands first. But it, when you look at the, at the start holds, there's like two start holds and then two foot holds right by the hand holds. I don't know, do you not think it would like indicate to the competitors that that's a really odd thing to do with your foot? You know how you're just like hanging on and then just like stabbing your foot to like place it? They've set it so it made it, it, it looks like you have to do something like funky. I mean, I think most of the competitors now are just so used to anything being thrown out that I think they go into it in general with a mindset of like, be prepared to spin, jump, get upside down. Nothing is off you know, out of bounds. I still I still reckon they haven't been watching uh, uh, those outtakes on Wide Boys, Wide Boys 1, though, for all those 
pirate techniques. No, obviously not. Obviously not. I'm not sure we had uh, this. Did we have anything? I don't think we had the... Did we have the invert, invert torpedo on that? Because this is kind of like that move, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Like like the uh, the French guy who went first, he sort of did that move where you're like kicking your legs up, keeping your hips close, and then just like shoving your foot invert style, invert torpedo style into the crack. You, you know, I, I, I did uh, like chuckle at as soon as I saw that um, problem come up, is I was thinking about all these competitors with their really downturned banana shoes trying to like hang off a foot with those things on it must be so much harder when the shoes bananas like that do you know, I, I was thinking about this the other day actually i can't remember why but uh, i must have been doing some sort of like foot jam or something and it just reminded me of the clown shoe that you made when you're going invert like that you just need a shoe that's bananaed in the opposite direction to like <laughs> to any any comp shoe <laughs> that anybody wears basically instead of the shoe like that you want the shoe like a clown foot like that and then you do the thing where you thread the laces down and then just like <laughs> basically cr- crank the toe up so that when you put it in the crack it's yeah is really stiff along the base oh flipping classic that's what they need clown shoes it, did, it didn't work though did it did it not i thought it did the clown shoe yeah yeah no i think i tried it and it just it was just rubbish. Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that working. Oh, I thought you did the route with the clown shoe. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. No, uh, no, I don't, no. I thought it was the winkle picker that didn't work. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, folks, before we crack on with more crack analysis, I just want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform for people who want to create and learn new skills. Currently, I've just started a new class with this guy, Ali Abdal. He teaches about video editing in Final Cut Pro, which is an editing software I upgraded to a few months back. So hopefully at some point, our videos can look as on point as his. I've also been learning more about transitions and masking, for example, this one in the Crack Love release video. They have so many creative classes in loads of genres, ranging from photography, art, editing, through to marketing and web development. Not only does signing up really help the channel out, it's really easy to join and become a member. The first 1,000 people who use the link in the description will receive a one month free trial to Skillshare Premium. So that's a winner. Right, moving on. It, I mean, it's fun to see somebody flash four boulders because it's just an Tries to camp set. Oh, Ooh, he, he flips it around quickly though. He, he gets it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, he got he got that he got that pretty dialed actually. Do you see that shake of his head at the top? <laughs> yeah. It'd be nice to see kind of yeah like a much more powerful sit up style move off the foot. You know the one where your stomach just is like maxed out. And it's like a really shallow box type thing. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, to be honest, I think they. If they if if they knew the techniques and stuff, I think they would be pretty. You know, they're going to be pretty strong in that yeah, yeah. position, aren't they? I think. I think the the interesting thing would be is when they start to do those types of moves. So this move where they're going like foot first, but obviously they're going off like I'm not sure what they're holding. It looked like some two finger and three finger pocket or something. But I think it's going to be interesting when we start to see them like. You know, there's two vol- two box volumes at the beginning, and then there's like having to stack in between, and then that that's like the starting, the starting hold, stacking at the beginning and then kicking through into um, into a jam, kind of like the move that uh, I was doing with Emil with the with the crack off, and the, it was basically like a a butterfly jam, and then we were doing a long kick to the next crack trainer i think it'd be it'd be fun to see something uh something along those lines yeah like going between like intermittent sections of crack where you like swing through onto yeah different bits who we got next gregor okay let's see some gregor see this is the fun thing about these type of like problems and routes they're like crowd pleasers aren't they yeah yeah <laughs> it's just fun to watch like flailing around going legs first isn't it <laughs> It's just something different. It's good. Look at that! You just spotted a foot stack, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. It was like a. It was like a. Uh, 
It's like a butterfly jam, but with the feet. Yeah, we need a name for that. Yeah, what should we call it? This is, this, this is it. They're bringing out new moves. Oh, what's that move when you've got like a, a ballet dancer and they jump and they go... They do like a little... Ton love, jete, and an ensemble. Crikey, we, we need to go and do a little bit of like ballet stuff with a ballet school. Let me just work out what this person says at school. Wonderful, love it. Eight, and first, and first, and first, and fifth, and échappé, échappé, look at that bell. Fourth, second, fourth, fifth, suit, suit, roll. Okay, I think that was an échappé. Is that what Gregor does? I think, yeah, I think Gregor <laughs> did an échappé sauté. That's probably a comp first, isn't it? That could be a crack first. There's some cracking names here. Have you ever done that in a crack? With two feet? No, stacked. No, I haven't either. Yeah, and, and, we, and we've still got... Oh, we've got one with a fish in here as well. Tomp de poisson. There's a lot of potential here, Pete. We need to look at the... Yeah. We need to go to the ballet, ballet glossary for the next set of crack terms. What are you going to coin that one, then? Uh, I just don't really feel like... Uh, Echappé sauté. No, I've forgotten it already. Fish foot. Fish foot. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Just call it the fish foot. Keep it basic. Keep it simple. Keep it aquatic. Yeah. And uh, and we're good to go. You see, you, you give you give crack to the comp climbers and they, they come up with new stuff. Yeah, yeah. Did we even finish that video? Oh, he's got it in now. You know what the, do you know what the issue is on that? I think he's just not putting his heel in deep enough. Yeah. It's like with the um, uh, the wide pony foot, like going he, like heel in first, heel into the crack first. Yeah, heel first and then toe in afterwards. I think, to be honest, I think Jakob um, did a pretty good example of that. Like putting the heel in first and then bringing the toe over. Um, whereas Gregor was a bit like, he was more flat, wasn't he? So the so the ball of his heel rather than the side of his heel was in the crack. But, I mean, it looks like a blooming long way to stretch your foot up there anyway. It's like an upside down inverted pull up to front lever. Okay, next one. Uh, so he w he went for the d sort of dino pop method first, and then quickly realised go feet first. Yeah, it's it's it's, get, it's getting that heel in. Yeah, yeah, or heel in and roll the toe over the top. See, he's going to, oh, he's going toe into the crack first. It's the same same foot positioning as the uh, Slovenian guy. I was teaching um, Emil that the other day. I think it's just like a natural thing to do to always like go t like it feels more natural to go toe first if you if you haven't done it before I think big O in the house oh got the big O dog yeah I did I didn't watch him do this actually so I'm just gonna predict a flash do you think he's just he looked at it and was like I've done that before I, I know how to do that this is flat anger all over again me and you went down the works and saw that on a wall would we immediately think crack I don't know. Yeah, probably not, actually. Would we? Yeah, it's a very good point. We might just think, like, power problem. Yeah. Yeah. And then just too weak. Or rather, we think crack after we tried to do the power way, and we would go, right, how do we get around this? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. You would try the power way, thinking it's power. Yeah. Forgetting that crack is back. Oh, he's so confident once he gets that heel and foot in, right, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He must have been thinking a bit of silence there. Yeah, he did that easy. I, w I wonder whether he was also thinking silence, but thinking silence, what would have Pete done? <laughs> Do you think that he was thinking that in that comp? I'm wondering. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thinking, okay, yeah, foot first sequence. <laughs> what was that sequence that I used? <laughs> he definitely wasn't thinking that. <laughs> okay, was he maybe thinking... Wonder what they would have been doing down the cellar. Maybe. No, I know what he was thinking. He was thinking, what O grade is this? <laughs> yeah, he probably was. And he was thinking, this is definitely a zero. It's in the bag, I can flash it. Yeah. <laughs> Crikey. Yeah. It was O zero. But most things are O zero in the comp, aren't they? Yeah, they are, yeah. I mean, they've, they've got to be, because otherwise no other competitor's going to get up it. Imagine if you put just the end part of the paddle hand crack with the feet in the crack 
I don't think any of those competitors would get up it. You don't think so? No. In the four minutes? I guess in four minutes. No. With feet in the crack? Yeah, with feet in the crack. Nah, I think they would. Well, the O-Dog would. Yeah, uh, well, the, only, uh, the O-Dog is the only person who would. Because not a single person who's ever come down my cellar, who knows how to crack climb, has ever been able to do that section of crack. They do need a paddle hand. It's coming next, isn't it? I think so, yeah. But I think that it's going to have to be... I think it'll have to be on a steep wall. Yeah. Or else... Um, there's just going to be some serious layback action or... Yeah, I, I predict next one, stack. I think a standard stack, and it'll just be like hand fist stack in like a box thing that you can't hold on any other way and you have to kick your feet through to something or... Yeah, something that we haven't already seen because we've seen like hand jams. We've seen inverted foot... We've seen quite a lot of inverted foot jams now. I feel like they've been in some previous comps and we've seen a flared. We've seen craze, haven't we actually? So yeah, you could be right. Stacks next, stacking it up.